Hey scientists, I'm going to show you how to complete the word art project. So there are actually two ways of completing this project. If you would like to submit it online, we'll go over that first. You can also submit this assignment on paper. Either way, you're going to make three, where's my camera? Right there. <laughs> three word arts. One for sedimentary rock, one for igneous rock, one for metamorphic rock. So let's do the online directions work. First, uh, for slides three, four, and five, start by typing your vocabulary word, change the color or style of the text to represent the word, add two to three pictures that represent the word, and then write two to three sentences of your own words that explain what the words mean and why you chose the pictures. I forgot this part. Or, um, change the color of the words. Okay, so let's see an example of doing this online. Slide two is always our example. So here's an example for the word volcano. I chose two pictures and then I used some of these sentence starters, which you'll have access to for doing the project to explain what I put. So I said, this image shows a volcano erupting. I chose the first picture because you can see the lava cooling and hardening to form new black rock. I included the second picture because not all volcanoes erupt the same. Some make ash like this one. Last, I made my letters red to show the color of lava and put a gray ash cloud behind the well, it's here, word volcano. Okay, so this is an example of how this could be done online. That's following these steps right here. Now, you don't have to do both of these. The second set of directions is for if you would rather submit on paper. So for this project, you need three pieces of paper. They can be any size, maybe they're small or big, and you need some drawing supplies. And you need to draw one of the vocabulary words on each piece of paper. So one paper has sedimentary rock, one paper has metamorphic rock, one has igneous rock. Creatively add, this should say, draw images, which mean pictures, or like doodles, means like little drawings, or details that represent the word. Add two to three sentences that explain what you drew and submit a media recording of your work. So if you choose to do this on paper, you do not need to submit this document. It's just to help you. Here is my example for the word volcano. So pretty. Uh, I'm noticing that it's like kind of hard to see the text. So make sure, wow, that's time on the right side. Make sure that you read what's there. I said, I drew an erupting volcano to show what happens at a volcano. So I turned the V into the top of a mountain. Smart. Um, I included lava cooling above ground and magma under the volcano. Here's the lava. Here is, oh my God, this is hard to do backwards. The magma under the volcano. And then last, I put some stars for crystals because igneous rocks, some have crystals. And then I also put dots for holes because some igneous rocks have holes. So this is my word art for volcano. Now, if you were doing this for this one, again, you would do three examples. Uh, if this was confusing, watch the video again or ask your teacher for help. Good luck.